Welcome everybody. Uh, thanks for joining today. I'm Jody Costa with Barcoding Incorporated, and I'm here with two special guests. So we have Shane Snyder, who is our president, and Martin Jack, who is our CTO. And we're going to talk a little bit about what we have coming up in the future of barcoding. And so thank you for joining me today for this short video. And I really want to start with you, Shane. And sure. I, I would love to dive into kind of where barcoding is going and what strategic investments we're making uh, in order to become a better company for our customers. Yeah, absolutely. So a great question. So we got committed as an organization a little over two years ago to doing a complete digital transformation within our organization. And that's inward facing systems and outward facing systems. And uh, the investment we're making in this new IntelliTrack platform is an extension of the investments we've made over the last 10 plus years in multiple platforms that track assets. Uh, we've made that strategic decision to consolidate all three of those platforms that we have today, kind of take the best of all of those features, functions that, that exist today, we've been supporting for over 10 years, and apply the latest technology and engineering processes around that to make sure we're delivering kind of, and it's so cliche to say, but kind of that best in class solution that helps us, helps our customers, and helps our partner community go through that digital transformation themselves. So customers who have been with us for many years are familiar with our asset tracking platforms. This is going to be that next generation platform, right? So Martin, um, IntelliTrack, talk to us a little bit about how that's going to help improve our customers' experiences. Sure, Jody. So, so as Shane mentioned, we are combining products we have had over two decades. Yeah. Right? And, and these products were built for the supply chain. Um, they're enterprise products built for the supply chain. But as part of that digital transformation, we have decided to combine all three into one platform one easy to use platform. And the platform that we have chosen is gonna allow us to grow, it's gonna allow us to be more secure, it's gonna allow our customers to be secure in the cloud. And the things that we have done to uh, make the experience a lot better is to allow them to have full access to all of the features that, that we have. You know, They'll be able to track their IT assets, their fixed assets, consumable inventory, rotational assets, all from within one platform. We have made this platform ag agnostic so that whether our customers are on a smartphone, on a tablet, on a, on a computer, they're going to have that same experience of a, of a rapid UI response where they can utilize this platform on all three platforms and probably even their smart watch at some point. Right. And I'm sure this uh, you work tons with our customers today, Shane. And, and, and here I sit without a smart watch. I don't have a watch at all, but uh, I can always use my phone. Yeah, I mean, what do you think, uh, piggybacking on Martin's answer, what do you think it is going to make our customers um, really excited? What is going to make this kind of unique for them and their ecosystem? There's thousands and thousands of individual assets to keep track of. That's one component of it. But the other truth is that there are billions and billions, maybe trillions of data points to keep track of. Uh, these assets aren't just sitting idly by, right? They're out collecting data all day long, whether it's in a truck or in a warehouse or in a retailer or um, a manufacturing site. And so we're collecting lots of indi individual points of data out there. And it's important that we're able to aggregate that all into a single platform. But if we're, rather than having a separate platform to do that, why don't we collect it all into one single platform where we're keeping track of not only the data, but the tools and the folks that are using those tools collected all in one place. So I've got a single point of truth mm -hmm. for all of the data and all the methodologies and tools that I use to collect that data. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. And as much as it's going to benefit our customers, I feel like our partners are going to see a, a major benefit as well. So Martin, what do you no, think about that? Certainly. So, so build on what changes that with the data points. So when you look at what we do and what we provide, we provide a lot of data points to our customers. But our partners also also manage some of those data points. So what we're trying to do is go beyond having that vendor buy relationship with our partners and allow us to be able to consume their data points and allow them to be able to consume our data points, thereby building an all-inclusive platform that allows our customers to have that you know, single platform experience and be able to 
see those data points and actually run key APIs, analytics all on, on those data points all from within one platform. Right. So whether I'm uh, a daily user and I need to submit RMAs or I am uh, someone at the, at the director level and I need to run monthly reporting, this is all going to be in one place, right? All in one place, whether you are procured a new device and it's being shipped from distribution and it's being replaced or it's in the sphere pool. Um, you can actually look back at that device and tell how many times it's been dropped, you know, how many times, you know, how, how, how often has it been used on the facility? Has it been sitting there for the last three months unused? Um, there's so many data points that we can capture. That is just, this is just the beginning. Right. And it's, it's about making use of that data, right, Shane? Yeah. So uh, you caught me, right? It was like <laughs> I, I preach about this all the time. It's, you know, reports are great. Uh, but at the end of the day, back in the old days, right, it was just ink on paper. Mm -hmm. Until I actually do something with that uh, to have an effect on my business, that it's, it's just data. It's just a report. So if I can have one place where I've got consistent data, it's available through all the little platforms Martin talked about, whether it's on my watch or on my iPhone or my laptop, and then all of that data is secure then I can be confident that um, I have what I need to make the right decisions to help improve my business. Uh, you know, whether that's driving greater efficiency, driving greater customer responsiveness, driving greater transparency to my customers. That was really the goal behind creating this new IntelliTrack platform. Right? We'll talk about it a little bit later, but you know, as you start down this road of digital transformation, that isn't just throw everything away and start anew. So we certainly have learned a lot over the last 10 plus year, 20 plus years, mm -hmm. as Martin says, in developing, deploying, and supporting these kinds of assets for our client. So we're taking all of those lessons that we've learned and rolling it up under this new technology schema. Part of that process is, hey, what do we call this, right? Is it brand new? Well, our truth is this, is we've got a, a brand name that we're leveraging moving forward called right. IntelliTrack. It's as appropriate of a naming convention today as it was 20 some years ago when we first got our trademark on that. And so we're gonna leverage that and we're rolling all these different technologies. More importantly, we're rolling all this different functionality up underneath of this one brand name, yep. one technology stack. You know, one of our goals within the organization is to help people be more connected. So we're not replacing systems that clients have or partners have. Our whole goal in de delivering this platform is to make sure it's a connected piece to all of the different pieces of the ecosystems that are out there today. So does it play well with others? Does it play well easily? Does it scale well easily with others? And that's been... Um, this has been a very significant investment engineering effort for us for probably the last year and a half, Martin. Mm -hmm. And you know, keeping all of these little buzzwords in mind as we're going through the actual development are really key to coming out with a product that's going to have the impact that we think that it's going to have for our clients. Right. And with barcoding, you know, we say efficient, accurate, connected, right? I think we just are starting on this connected piece. And uh, I, I, I've heard the term open platform. Uh, and so, Martin, maybe give us a sense of what that means and, and how that plays into this being something that truly connects versus being a siloed uh, product. So, so we're committed to building a platform that works well with other platforms. And what I mean by that is, you know, probably 10 years ago, five years ago, we talked about a lot about integrated systems. Oh, I have some APIs. Let's shake hands. Mm -hmm. we, we are beyond that at this point. We are committed to building a platform that intertwine the workflows with the two platforms. So we, what we have built today is that we have exposed all of the data that's in the platform via web services. And what that does, it allows other platforms to consume our platform, and we can actually consume their platform as well. So when we look at our partners, um, our leading partners that have similar platforms, we are now building and create an all-inclusive platform that allows the customer to feel as though they're actually using one platform. And, and what we have done is by creating an open system and allowing those web services to be available in real time. So you can actually get to the data real time. Um, unlike, you know, syncing data like you did in the past, every three hours, every four hours, you're actually consuming the same data and building. You can build 
your user interface using the same web services we built the platform. Right. So pretty powerful. Stuff. Right. I mean, I, I feel like what this is a great case in in we are just about to see what's going to happen because mm -hmm. as people start to use the platform, as they start to build and consume data. Who knows what people are going to come up with and how they're going to find this useful and how they're going to be able to drive their own organizations forward, right? But if, to me, digital transformation is also about this path to digital maturity, and that includes, you know, keeping your data secure, right, and and having good data integrity. So, how are we taking those steps, Mark? That's, that's a good question, Jody. So, so maybe two and a half, three years ago, we have always we have always focused on security and barcoding. But two, three years ago, we actually had an initiative, a cybersecurity initiative to really move us forward and make sure we are secure as a company um, in the cybersecurity world. Um, part of that is we have, we are following the NIST security framework. And by doing so, we actually applied it across our entire organization. We have taken those same practices and applied that to the platform that we built, IntelliTrack. And uh, it, by doing so, we have actually started thinking about security from the beginning, and we have continued to do that all the way through the um, development of the platform. Uh, one of the things we have done also, we have uh, outsourced with an independent company to do recurring penetration testing, so we can see that actually what we're building is secure, and, and those reports uh, will be reviewed and, and be dealt with and, and, and manage the, the, the issues that we find in those reports, we will deal with them efficiently and, and make sure that we resolve all of those issues. Um, one of the things that, that we have seen over the, over the last two, three years is a lot of, a lot of companies um, are being exposed to the cyber, cybersecurity attack. So we are doing everything we can. So one of the things we have done is that we have partnered with a cloud infrastructure partner, one of the big companies out there that's already sub to compliant, mm -hmm. therefore allowing us to build a platform that's even more secure than um, our past platforms out there. That's awesome. And it's clear that IntelliTrack, uh, this, new, this new brand name for our new platform, is part of that barcoding experience that we offer to customers and uh, is part of how we are able to serve them, right? Uh, and so Shane, you know, from your seat, what, what is Barcoding's commitment to IntelliTrack, you know, thinking ahead maybe five years, but also thinking about that barcoding experience in, in total? Yeah, so a couple of things that kind of play off of Martin a little bit here. Um, you know, as an end user and as a decision maker, what tools we invest in within our business to, to help us run our business. The thing that's exciting about this is one is, you know, password maintenance is bane of my existence. <laughs> yes. Right? And so I go through it. It's important from a security standpoint, but the, but the more I, I can have a, a platform that's connected with everything else, kind of have a single sign-on experience like we're doing with our IntelliTrack pro, uh, platform, um, the better, right? right? One less thing from an end user standpoint to, to encourage me to use that platform versus like, oh, I've got to log in and get a new password every time. Uh, so that's really important. The other piece that's really important is that, you know, every company that you know, sees this video, every company that's in business today has already made s substantial investments in software platforms, whether they're in-house platforms, SaaS-based tools that they use every day. Um, you know, our goal with this is not to replace those necessarily. Our real goal with this is to add value to those. Yeah. How do we deliver more efficient, accurate, connected data to those platforms to allow them to get even more out of them than they already are, right? And so it might still be getting the same reporting, but it might be faster, it might be more accurate, it might be easier to get to, right? All those things increase the value of the investment that's already been made out there, right? So it's not a replacement of things, it's a way for people to get more out of the investment that they've already made out there. That's awesome. And then you have another question for me, which I completely ignored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just thinking about our commitment to supporting this platform overall. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know it's important that IntelliTrack is going to be, you know, a, a, you know, a, a core component of our barcoding experience. So yeah. customers that come to us 
uh, for an AIDC solution, this is a component of that, right? So, yeah. so what's, it was what's important. that commitment? Yeah, so that was important to me as, as Martin and I initially had this conversation as it was a seed of an idea. You know, our entire engineering staff is working on this, mm-hmm. right? It's not a one-off project. You're never done, right? right? And so... What does that mean from a customer perspective and a client perspective from a, how committed is marketing? This is what we do. This is who we are. We've defined who we are by the way we've developed this platform. Uh, we've partnered with uh, one of the largest par- uh, platform providers out there uh, that's going to be around for probably more than five minutes. Um, <laughs> and so for the foreseeable future, ever is a long time, right? Okay. But the foreseeable future, of that five to seven year window into the future, this is what we're focused on, continuing to build out functionality of this, continuing to work with our customers so that they can help drive demand, drive features functionality uh, within, the, within the platform that's out there, continuing to look for technology and workflow trends in the marketplace. And workflows have changed fundamentally in the marketplace over the past three to five years, a lot in the last two years with uh, the response to COVID, right? If you, if you don't think that's true, you know, think about four years ago, were you doing buy online, pick up in store, right. or were you doing curbside delivery with, you know, your major retailer locally? Right. The answer is no, right? People are changed the way they're doing things. And the you know, supply chain is in the, is in the news every day today. Right. Uh, you know, I've seen enough ships floating off the coast of California. <laughs> To know that there's it's a thing, and so people are introducing more and more technologies to help streamline that process. You know, we spent a lot of time over the last ten to fifteen years doing just-in-time manufacturing, outsourcing uh, manufacturing, outsourcing different functions to various parts of the world, and that's good, right? But what happened is, you know, if you think about uh, the supply chain as a rope. Right. And 10 years ago, there was a lot of slack in that role. Right. Right. A lot of slack in there. Right. So things, uh, you don't get a shipment today. That's okay. I've got some stuff in the warehouse. Right. Or I've got some things on the floor we can continue to serve our customers with. Well, what we got really, really good at for the last 10 years was that rope is taut. Right. Right. There's no slack in it. And so anything that, anytime things go bump in the night, then there's this spiraling effect, kind of this tumbling effect that happens throughout the supply chain. We think that the technologies we provide from our basic you know, labels and printers and yep. handhelds and that sort of thing, all the way through this platform, is going to help people deal with that lack of slack in that, that supply chain because we're going to give them more accurate information in a more timely fashion right. in a way that they can actually consume it and have an impact on their business. Right. Ultimately, driving that productivity that we need and, uh, you know, giving people a better user experience. Absolutely. Right? So our commitment is to continue down that road for the next five plus years, leveraging the best technologies that are out there, continue to take feedback from the client base, continue to evolve this platform. I mean, we're, we're learning so much today, but I think if you are a Berkeley customer and you're watching this, you're probably thinking, gosh, what, what about, you know, what's, what's going to happen to me? And, you know, I'm sure people are getting really excited, but if they may be thinking about migration, you want to just give us a quick window on, on what customers can expect there. Certainly, Jody. So, so what, I'll start by saying barcode and as a company, we have actually gone through multiple migrations with our ERP systems, with other right. systems internally. And I can tell it's expensive. Um, it takes a long time. Um, so when we first started working on this platform, one of the first things we did, and we made sure that we held ourselves responsible for, is make sure we had a good migration path. Yep. And one of the things we did is built migration directly into the platform. So for our existing customers, they're going to be migrated seamlessly over to the new platform. Um, it's actually live today where I can go in today. I can pick one of our customers and I can say schedule migration and it's done. It's, it's that easy. It's awesome. Um, you know, for our larger enterprise customers that are using our web services today with our existing uh, platforms, we, we will have a, a migration path that they can follow and, and we'll probably work with them on a project plan. 
but it's going to be easy for them as well. We, we hope that their level of effort is, is going to be minimized yep. by, by the work we have done up front. That's, that's great. And I'm sure that's welcome news for everybody watching. So I know that we are you know, getting ready to come out with this next generation Teletrack platform here at the beginning of 2022. And we're, we're really looking forward to what that brings. And so I almost hate to ask this question because we're getting to uh, that next generation platform, but everyone always wants to know what's next. So, you know, any, any peaks, chain on what's next on the roadmap? So Martin's team's been working really hard for the last 18 months. They thought they'd take the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> right? So it's, you know, people that are watching this video or people that are in the world of IT and systems, the list of new requests is always longer yeah. than the list of assets that you have to actually deliver on those requests. You know, as we've been going through this, we've de been developing a roadmap and prioritizing based on some customer feedback, some of the you know, feel felt bound stuff on internally that we've done. You know, but we are developing a customer advocacy group within the barcoding clients, so and that's inclusive of kind of those end user customers as well as our OEM partners yeah. to help guide us in terms of what's important to them, uh, what's going to have the biggest impact on their business. And then, like any good prioritization process, there's, there's arm wrestling that takes place <laughs> at the end, right? There's the uh, negotiation of uh, uh, what's going to have the most impact fastest to that to that user community, whether it's internal, a partner, or a customer out there. So uh, it's a it's a long list. You know, I would suspect you'll see a lot of things around the IoT community. You know, it seems like every day, every week, every month, people are coming up with new ways to capture data, and how do we tie that in from a traditional barcode to a a passive RFID tag to a Bluetooth low energy to some sort of machine visioning to there'll be other ways to collect data points out there right. and make sure that we're tuned into that, make sure we're appropriate to that. You know, there's going to be, I suspect there's going to be significant demands in the ERP space, kind of the big WMS cats that are out there or folks in the, um, you know, other big ERP spaces that are going to have demands from us for more data because people are trying to work through and deal with that lack of slack in the supply chain role. Right. You know, so we'll have to evolve our, our application to continue to support them and make sure they can get all they can out of those applications out there. So it's a, a very non-specific answer because no one wants to see me go through a list of 40 or 100 different features yeah. that we want to add to this, but know that it's, a, it's an ongoing evolution of the product, right? I, I, I hesitate to say development of the product. It really truly is an evolution of the product based on technology shifts, market shifts, customer demands. That's really what's going to drive our future development for the foreseeable future. And uh, once they get back from their six month vacation, <laughs> we can launch into those next efforts. Oh, well, it's been it's been wonderful spending time with both of you, learning more about uh, barcoding and, and where we're going, learning more about IntelliTrack at this, our next generation enterprise platform. And thank you so much for your time. Sure. Um, really appreciate it. So one thing that you should know is uh, we, as you heard, we are looking for this to be a collaborative process. So for those of you who are watching and who are very excited about getting involved with the, the new IntelliTrack platform, there is a way to stay in touch. We're going to be providing a web address that you'll see on your screen. This is a place to drop your email so you can stay in the know and get to know exactly what's going on with the product ahead of time. If you're a current customer, you want to reach out to your account rep and, and ask them to get you involved with the IntelliTrack platform. We do have some early adopters, um, so we are vetting those right now, but there is a way to get involved um, right now uh, in, a, in ahead of the, of the launch of the product. So if that's, up to, you know, if you're out there watching and you're really excited and you want to know what this means for you, reach out to your account executive and they can get those conversations rolling. So again, the web address on the screen, great way to stay in the know. Your account executives at Barcoding, another great place to start. Of course, I am here. So you can always reach out to me, Jody Costa at Barcoding. You get my emails. I know you do. <laughs> so um, feel free to reach out. You'll also want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There'll be much more coming out in advance of the launch. IntelliTrack, our next generation enterprise platform will be out in January, January 5th, 2022. 
Uh, if you are a current customer, you will be prepped on migration. Um, but January 5th, that's the date, and we are really looking forward to celebrating with you. So stay tuned for more. Thank you all so Thank you. much for joining me today from headquarters, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks.